Senator yeah. Joni Ernst, Republican from the state of Iowa, joins me now. Mm -hmm. Madam Senator, what's your response uh, to China's threats, and what should our response be to those threats? Well, Speaker Pelosi and I rarely agree on any situation, <laughs> but I would say kudos to the Speaker. It's time that America step up and show leadership and let China know that they can't tell us who we are going to speak to or where we will travel to. So thank you, Speaker Pelosi, for taking this step forward and sharing those assurances with Taiwan. The danger here is that this encirclement of Taiwan with the Chinese naval forces will it creates some kind of clash, either with shipping in the Taiwan Strait or with American forces. What should we be doing when they're encircling the island? We obviously we should continue with freedom of navigation movements uh, throughout that area. And of course, making sure that our lines of communication are open with the Chinese. But it is important to stress that we need a very strong military and diplomatic presence throughout the South China Sea and other areas um, where we can obviously influence friendly nations to assist us in pushing back against China. Do you think that the speaker has put some backbone into America's foreign policy? Well, I think there are a lot of us that have a lot of backbone and, and uh, spines uh, that are made of steel. But unfortunately, what a lot of countries see is very weak leadership emanating from the very top. And of course, then that influences other countries and their decisions like China's as they continue military exercises around Taiwan. So there are so many of us that really want to do the right thing and project America and strength around the globe. But unfortunately, we have President Biden at the helm of this ship, and he signals to everyone else a, a doctrine of appeasement. And so, again, thankful that the Speaker chose to do this and just know that there are many others that really do want to emanate American strength around the world. Well, what about Al Qaeda back in Afghanistan? Mm -hmm. Is that terror group making Afghanistan a terror haven all over again? Well, of course it is. It is a landing spot for many violent extremist organizations, terrorist organizations. And if you remember back to August of 2020, when we went through that disastrous withdrawal under President Biden, that he had said, Al-Qaeda is no longer present in Afghanistan. And yet here we are a year later performing a strike against Al-Qaeda's leader who was not out in some cave in some remote location. He was downtown Kabul out on his porch or his patio sipping coffee in the morning. Um, so the Taliban knows Al-Qaeda is there and we have handed over the country of Afghanistan to the Taliban. So again, weak leadership coming from the top. Very glad that we did this strike the other day. It was absolutely necessary. Mm. But bottom line, Al-Qaeda is not gone from Afghanistan. Senator Manchin meeting with Senator Sinema on this tax and spend bonanza. Mm. Is there any hope that Senator Sinema will help us all out and kill the whole thing? I think there's always hope, Stuart, and Senator Cinema. she does have her own interests in Arizona to, to watch out for, and I know that she will be listening carefully to her constituencies, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of pressure emanating from Chuck Schumer, Leader Schumer, to make sure that all those Democrats get in line, and I think that Joe Manchin will be trying to reach out to Senator Cinema, asking for a little bit of help here. Um, I think he got in over his head and he's also looking for some cover uh, but again she will do what is right for her in Arizona so it's hard to know how this is going to shake out in the end. Uh, Senator Joni Ernst thank you very much for joining us always a pleasure. Uh, thanks so much. See thanks you again Stuart. Soon. All right.